tattooing around the age of 25. And thank you very much. Thank you. I'm still waiting for the applause for the one sheet. All right, I'm going to try to make this in two. Hi. My name is Hi, my name is Bill Levin. I am your Indiana Medical Marijuana Hemp Lobbyist and Marijuana Lobbyist. I'm registered with the state. I'm also the poorest lobbyist. We got no money. So, here's my handouts. I found you guys some money. I did a study. I was curious. I wanted to know how much marijuana we consumed in Indiana. It seemed like a pretty important question to me. I went out and I went to the warehouses who sell rolling papers and blunt wraps. And I found out what their total was for weekly sales. I then, with a group of diligent mathematicians, sat down and figured out how much product it would take to fill those papers and blunt wraps. Ladies and gentlemen, Indiana consumes at least 25 tons of marijuana every week. And I can prove it because we're not selling 25 tons of tobacco out there. Now, we have a marijuana tax stamp law on our books. Previously, you would not sell us this tax stamp. You were using it as a penalty toward us. $3.50 per gram tax on that piece of paper. If we smoke 25 tons of cannabis every week right now and it's illegal, at 350 a gram, I can put $4.55 billion into this state if you sell us a marijuana tax stamp. It can go directly to the state right away. You get a lottery machine to kick us out a nice little sequential number that says it's an arbitrary tax stamp. We go to a dispensary, we buy our seven grams of marijuana, we've paid our $24 tax in advance. The tax goes to the state in advance before the purchase. The state then has a tracking system to see how much cannabis this dispensary has sold legally. It's a fixed, fixed system. That's it. There's some other notes in there. I just want to say there's $4.6 billion, guys, if you want to pay attention. Thank you.